Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I was going through some of my mom's old cookbooks and notes the other day. And uh, in this guy right here, I actually found uh, a recipe that I think maybe you guys would be interested in. And it's uh, sort of practical. And it's uh, more or less uh, common ingredients, all but uh, one. And uh, what it is, is it's mom's uh, plant food formula that she's got here. It's her homemade fertilizer. Now, I remember her using this on her house plants, um, but I don't see why it wouldn't work on vegetables or whatever. And uh, like I said, all the ingredients are fairly uh, common except one. And it was funny, she actually had written in another part of uh, another cookbook or notebook that she had. She had written the actual pharmacy where she got uh, this one ingredient from, and uh, that pharmacy's been out of business for uh, years and years already. But I'm going to read this to you, and then I'm going to uh, mix up a batch for you guys. Uh, this is what it says. It says, plant food formula, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of Epsom salts, one teaspoon of saltpeter, that's the one that's hard to uh, come by. And that's the one she had written down what particular pharmacy um, that she got it from. And a half a teaspoon of household ammonia. And it says, mix the above ingredients in a gallon of tepid water and use once a month. And uh, if I remember correctly, mom used about a cup of this in her house plants about once a month. And mom had beautiful house plants, so my guess is this worked uh, just fine for her. But I'm going to mix up a batch of this for you guys here. I got the uh, ingredients set out here, and I actually did have a little bit of saltpeter, so we're good there. Like I said, that's the hard one to uh, come by. You can probably get it online or whatever. Whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to mix some of this up for you guys and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, got my ingredients here. I'm going to put the uh, half a teaspoon of uh, ammonia in first. I'm mixing it into a little bit of water in a uh, separate bottle first so I can get it mixed up good. And then I'm going to put it into my uh, gallon of water. Get our teaspoon of... Uh, bacon powder in here without spilling too much of it. A little shy there. We're going to throw a little more in there. There's that. A teaspoon of Epsom salt. Like a high school uh, chemistry experiment. And then the uh, the rare one here, the saltpeter. It's funny how you used to be able to just get this kind of stuff at any uh, any pharmacy years ago, and now you know it's a big deal to get some of this stuff. And then our teaspoon of saltpeter. Take this here, give this a good shake until it's combined good, and then we're going to put it in with the. Uh, gallon of water all right now one thing i want to mention is whenever you're mixing up something like this you always want to label the container so you know once what it is i got two uh containers here um one to mix and then one actually to hold it in so we're going to dump our uh our mixture in here and we're going to give this a good shake and then we're going to uh take a cupful out and we're going to use some all right, I added a little bit more water in here. I was just a little bit shy, but we're going to take a cupful of this stuff. And we're going to give a cupful to each of the, uh, the flowers I got planted here. What I remember Mom using this on was actually African violets. Mom and Grandma always had a huge amount of African violets that they would uh, they would grow in their uh, house. All right, there we go. Well, guys, that is Mom's uh, plant food formula. Easy enough to make if you got the ingredients. Took the uh, jug here and just clipped on uh, the cup, and I'm going to set it out here with the rest of my gardening stuff and. Uh, 
when I want to use some. I'll pour a cupful onto my uh, flowers and vegetables. But I just thought this uh, little recipe here that mom had written down uh, might be a, a practical addition to uh, people's notes out there if you're uh, prepping. You can never have too much of this type of information because you never know what might be available if uh, something bad happens. So you can mix kind of this stuff up uh, with the ingredients that you have at home if you got the right formula. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information and a little entertainment out of this video as always. Just wanted to share another uh, recipe and note here out of Mom's uh, writings. Anyway, you guys have a good one.